BMW have won the six hours of the Glen after Porsche Penske were disqualified post-race. After a messy start with several incidents in the opening hour, the race boiled down into a classic with incredible fights in both GTP and GTD Pro. An accident for Bill Orbelin saw the race end under yellow, but just before that Matthew Yamane had found his way past Conor Di Filippi to give Porsche the win, or so they thought. Yamane and Nick Tandy's number 6 entry was sparking throughout the race, and failed post-race tech with excessive front skid block wear. Do I think they were deliberately cheating? No, they were less than 0.1mm over the limit, but it's still against the rules. Team Penske are going to appeal the disqualification, so chances are we won't know who's actually won for a while. It's a mistake which should cost Yamane and Tandy their championship lead and means Porsche leave the Glen bitterly disappointed after their best showing to date in GTP. The sister number 7 finished 101 laps down after a hybrid failure whilst running second in a Porsche 1-2. All this means that BMW M Team RLL take their first win in almost 3 years. The Beamer looked good all weekend, and Di Filippi and Nick Yellily found their way to the front after a great strategy call at the penultimate round of stops, where they pitted early and bolted on a set of softs. The sister car failed to make it past turn one, with Augusto Farfus hitting the wall, and surviving a very scary moment as the GT start flew past him. A win for BMW means that just five races into the new era, all four manufacturers have taken a victory. Whelan Engineering Racing have taken the championship lead after a solid run saw them finish second. Always there or thereabouts, they made an excellent strategy call to take the Endurance Cup points at halfway, and now sit 7 points clear in the MEC with just 15 left up for grabs, and 64 ahead of the 25 BMW in the full season standings. Maya Shank Racing ended up on the podium after a disappointing weekend, where they showed so much promise in free practice, but didn't have the pace when push came to shove, but a clean run gives them a first top 5 since Daytona. Speaking of Daytona, I ought to address the reason they kept their win there but Porsche lose it here, and it all comes down to when they were penalised. MSR were found out a month post-race, PPM on the night. JDC Miller Motorsports will be happy with a 4th place finish. Like MSR, they stayed out of trouble, and came home 2 laps down. Cadillac Racing ended up 4 laps back after getting caught up in multiple incidents. Sebastian Bourdais made a rare mistake in traffic in hour 2, and Renga van der Zander had nowhere to go in a multi-car accident later on. Wayne Taylor Racing possibly had the worst day of every GTP team though, with a wheel falling off mid-race whilst they were running second marking a turning point. They'd already had to do one recovery drive, but from this point on they proceeded to pick up several penalties and ran into issues which led them 21 laps down at the flag. Penalties seemed to be the theme of the day, with more than 10 drive throughs handed out in GT for incorrect tyre pressures. CrowdStrike Racing by APR backed up their Le Mans class win as they won in LMP2, and with it took over both the championship and MEC leads, as former winners TDS Racing ended up down in 7th following an early incident. The fight between the bronzes in LMP2 at the start of the race was incredible, but it all went wrong when Ben Keating and Sally Yolich made contact, an incident both sides publicly blamed the other for, and left Stephen Thomas with nowhere to go. Riley Motorsports have swept the LMP3 era of the 6 hours, as they came out on top in a great fight with Junior 3 Racing, which saw plenty of argy-bargy. They've also taken the Endurance Cup points lead, with three cars split by just two points. GT was a case of Vassar Sullivan Lexus versus Iron Lynx Lamborghini in both classes. The 63 GTD Pro Lambo was taken out in a multi-car accident involving the Performance Tech LMP3, giving Lexus the advantage but a pit lane speeding penalty late on saw Jack Hawksworth fall behind Antonio Garcia in the Corvette, requiring a bold move up the inside into turn 8 to get back ahead. Vassar Sullivan extend their points lead as they continue their 100% podium finish streak, whilst Reese also found a way past the Corvette to finish second. 
All this, however, took place behind the Pro-Am number 12 Lexus, which won GT outright, the fourth time in six races that GTD has beaten GTD Pro. It was a commanding drive, as late race woes for their main rivals, the Iron Dames, fall back to 16th. A second place for Paul Miller Racing sees them extend their points lead, as the Imps of Field moves to Canadian Tire Motorsports Park in two weeks' time. What is your reaction to the six hours of the Glen? Please let me know in the comments below, and whilst you're down there, why not press that like button? It really helps me out.